So now in this video, I'm going to go over the shot key diode a little bit. This is the N or 1N6263 uh, shot key diodes, uh, diode like uh, any other diode but with some uh, special properties. Uh, these diodes came out of the semiconductor kit. This kit gets me a lot of semiconductor components that uh, don't come in regular kits. In fact, uh, most of the semiconductor components in here are not in uh, the average kit. So uh, I really recommend the semiconductor kit if you want to experiment more with uh, semiconductor components, but you don't know what to buy on your own. So now to uh, show what the shot key diode does, what it's really used for, we're gonna measure the voltage. So I'll get that set to a voltage. This is an auto ranging meter. Uh, all I have to do is set it to voltage and it takes care of everything else. There's other meters where you have to set it to a certain value uh, to get a better reading, but this meter takes care of that by itself. And so now we'll take a closer look at the circuit here. So all this is is an LED with a protective resistor, but we also have this uh, shot key diode here. So the LED is a diode and the shot key is a diode. They're both forward biased right now. So they're both uh, inserted in the way to conduct. If I put either one of these uh, backwards right now, they would block the uh, current. But uh, in any case, you should already know by now that LEDs have about a 1.5 volt forward uh, drop, voltage drop. And here you can see, right now, it's about uh, 1.9 volts. So the LED is blocking about uh, 1.9 volts. Now, the shot key diode will come over here. We measure the uh, voltage across it. You see it's uh, about uh, 0.5 volts, much uh, lower. And that's what the shot key diode's for, is to try to minimize the forward voltage drop. And so now we'll compare that with the uh, rectifier diode, which you can see here has about a 0.7 voltage drop, which we would expect. So now I put the shot key diode back into the circuit, but removed the LED. So now there's going to be more current going through the LED, or uh, through the uh, shot key diode. And uh, you, here you can see that uh, with the more current going through there, it's actually blocking more voltage, almost uh, 0 0.05 more volts than it was before. And I don't want that. I want it to block as little voltage as possible. Again, we're using a 9 volt uh, power source here. So now, I uh, wanted to drop the voltage and the current, of course, to the uh, shot key diode. Now, I forgot to mention, this is a 470 ohm resistor. That's a minimum value resistor you want to protect one LED from 9 volts of current. But in any case, we'll look at the voltage drop now of these uh, four LEDs in series. And you can see it drops about 7.3 volts from the circuit. And now, when we measure the voltage drop of the shot key diode, now you can see it's a bit lower, 0.361 volts. So it looks like the lower uh, voltage and current you put uh, through the shot key diode, the less voltage that it blocks. So now we'll uh, try it with it hooked up to uh, this solar cell directly. Now, indoors, this solar cell really hardly produces any current at all, just uh, barely enough to uh, light an LED. So it's very low current, probably about three volts right now there. And uh, here you can see the shot key now drops about uh, 0.25 volts. So now you compare that to the LED, which uh, drops about uh, 1.6 volts and the rectifier which you can see is blocking about uh, 0.47 volts so looks like the rectifier diode also and the LED was also uh, blocking less voltage when it wasn't passing as much current so now that's the end of this video um, I assume you already know how the forward voltage drop of a semiconductor like a diode works and uh, that's why I didn't really explain that too much that would make a much longer video at this point if you're uh, interested in shot key diodes I assume you already know that but in any case I plan on using 
the shot key diode in a future circuit. I'm going to be dealing with very low voltages, uh, hopefully, and uh, so I need a diode, and I'm going to need it to block as little of that voltage as possible. And so this really helped me understand how the shot key diode will probably work in those circuits, and even the other two diodes. I learned a little more about them. So that's the point of these experiments is you get a better idea how these uh, components behave with more or less current and more or less voltage.